Yeah, we're right off of Tuxford. And let me just step out of the way because these things are growing exponentially. As the weather gets better and you actually begin to see them because the rainwater is beginning to disappear, as it were, you can see it. We've been watching this. You can see the drivers trying to avoid it and in so veering into the other lane. So it's not just a matter of getting into a problem with your tire but not hitting another car while trying to avoid these holes. The city here in Los Angeles is telling us that since the beginning of the month they've received close to 1,400 calls for service dealing with potholes. They've completed almost 500 so far. That's about a third people saying, hey, get on it, get on it quickly because this is what's happening. Watch. They are everywhere, potholes. And no matter how much you try to avoid or slow down before hitting them. A lot of times with the rain, you don't see the potholes, so it makes things even more difficult. And even when you do see them, when it's not raining, it's impossible to avoid them. You want to see how bad the damage can be from hitting a pothole? Take a look at this. This is the rim of a vehicle that hit one of the potholes here. This is ridiculous. Potholes everywhere. It's just like, what are we... What are we paying? Like, what is, where is, where are our tax dollars going? We're doing the best that we can. We're using all, 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 we're going all men that are available. We're putting them out there. LA Public Works blaming recent rains that have even turned some of these potholes into sinkholes, like this one in the Pico Union District. You can have two or 300 requests in a day. That so, much I rain. mean, we're, we're, we're out there busting our buns, if you know what I mean. Also working overtime? The staff at Anthony's Tires in Sun Valley. Well, the city says that it's because of the rain. Ah, uh, they can say whatever, but I see the reality. He echoes drivers in the San Fernando Valley, where streets like Tuxford are known for these gaping holes. But even smaller residential avenues like Sunland and Shadow Hills have people constantly calling 311 for repairs. I could imagine, I know that the, it gets worse with the rain, but um, I see these, these things popping up all the time, actually, year round. Especially in this neighborhood, I see potholes that don't get fixed for quite a long time. Keep on calling 311. That's what they're telling us. Please do so. Now, AAA is saying that one in 10 drivers pays about $600 in pothole related repairs and it's not only the time that you spend it's losing the car it's the money i will tell you this the city of los angeles does have a system for claims and uh, it's with the city clerk's office we have put the link to that in our website at foxla.com drive carefully take it easy it's going to be a while before they get to all of them i'm christina gonzalez live in sun valley back to you guys in the studio